Hello everybody and welcome back. And in last week's video we were to co we were covered about the Passover topic and the relation of it between our Lord's memorial and how Jesus Christ fulfilled the Passover of the Old Testament and initial initiated the new, in the New Testament to do the memorial of his death. We understand and after the greater evening on Nisan 14. And today though we're going to carry on with sort of like a recap or summing everything up about the Passover and the Lord's memorial mainly today since we i even though i said last week we're going to carry on with the jude book this week we're actually going to carry on with the passover as there's still a few more days till the passover like i said last week so let's carry on and understand about the passover so all god's children are consecrated with god in baptism they have to worship with our savior and, and which is instituted to us but what there are the rules to observe to do the memorial because we know that the commandment are, are given to us in exodus 12th chapter 50th verse for the passover but now we can see that we have to participate in the lord's memorial of our jesus christ's death the lamb was which is sacrificed for us due to our love for the love of our heavenly father towards us we understand he does this for us he gave us the gift for the whole mankind we understand by providing us his one begotten son in order to appreciate his love and sacrifice our heart our heart should be always delighted delighted in a way to do his will in our lifetime as we should be grateful towards our lord this is the first and the foremost mindset of jesus christ that he expects us and we should be the same and his followers to deliver the will of god during the piss period especially we must self-examine ourselves and what we have done and how we can go into the mind of christ and reflect on our thoughts and words and actions in actions because we must troubleshoot ourselves and double check ourselves and do the correct measures by repenting and surrendering before him because everyone does sins in this world as this world is the world as we understand is this is a sinful world and we always must be ready to check ourselves double check ourselves repent and surrender to him and we should always reflect ourselves in words thoughts and action and the apostles followed the Lord's memorial day to the to glorify our heavenly Father, we understand he to glorify our heavenly Father and dedication of our Savior. He they all they followed and passed the orders and continued this highly scarce event. And we can understand that the the proof of it in the Bible in First Corinthians fifth chapter eight verse. Let's read that. Let us therefore celebrate the festival, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. So, it's, so our heart should be pure, we understand it, and to dedicate ourselves to our covenant. And he is ready to clean us and we must be ready as well, as long as we're ready as we are free and we're sincerely ready to get rid of the fleshly desires and ready to co new, ready to continue a new creation for life. We can understand here. So Jesus Christ has instituted this for us to remember and this and remind us to self-check and get rid of all the, our leaven and, and completely get it out of our system. And we should be ready for the Passover and Lord's Memorial Day. So we are fully now in the new one. As we understand, unleavened, we should get the leavened out of our way. We should be ready and we should be ready to follow Jesus Christ's ways. And we should be ready to clear out all the fleshly desires from our body. Because then he is ready to clean us. And and as while we take his scarce body and his sacrificial blood during this appointed day. Since now Jesus Christ will take us onto the journey and we will be able to follow and be like God wishes for us to be and follow the ways of Jesus Christ. Only if we are ready to be with like Jesus Christ and be free and re get rid of our desires, we will be able to be ready and we'll be able to be clean on, by eating, by, while we take sorry, the scarce body and the sacrificial blood on the appointed day. So God bless all those called and the chosen ones to participate wholeheartedly with this spirit on the Passover date. We understand how important this is because for God's child, as the Passover will come is a is a basically a point where you're sort of like pledging yourself towards God Himself as you're ready for Him to clean you and being a God's child and full to God, full truth to God and faithful to God. <laughs> So that's all for today. I hope you understood about the Passover topic in general, understanding about how important it is, because we understand how 
Jesus Christ is was gave our life for us and we should be ready to do anything because if we weren't this we would be this sinful nature and it's because of Jesus Christ and God's love for us God risk gave his son towards us to save us and if, so that so now we must be ready to give anything up for Jesus Christ and we should be ready and we should always be thinking of our actions of what we do and we should always be thinking back and repenting and surrendering whenever we do a slight mistake. So that's all for today. See you next time. Bye.